Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are bringing back another installment of Pet YouTuber Reacts. So I've done a few of these videos on my channel in the past. It's been a while, but I have done a few videos where I've reacted to things. I've reacted to just YouTubers that have done questionable things with animals, just kind of explaining why what they did was wrong. Just because some people do really stupid things with animals and they have really large audiences, so I'm just like, someone needs to say something, you know? But also I reacted to Jenna Marbles and just like how great of care she took of her hamster because I thought that was amazing. And today I just wanted to react to some viral animal videos. Um, not necessarily just bad ones, but also just ones that are funny. I'm just mainly going to be looking at a compilation. A lot of the videos I haven't even seen yet, so there might be a lot of bad ones. I don't really know. But a trend that I've noticed is a lot of viral animal videos can be very misleading. And, you know, they are really cute and funny for people who aren't really thinking about what's going on or maybe don't really have a lot of experience with animals. But for someone who has taken care of a lot of these animals firsthand and knows a lot about them, some of the things that people promote in these viral videos that get viewed by a ton of people are very bad. A lot of the times people find it funny when animals show signs of distress, and that's because a lot of the times people don't know the signs of distress in a lot of animals, and also just some of the things are just stupid. So today we're going to be reacting to those, and yeah. Before we get into it, however, we're going to talk about today's sponsor, which is Private Student Loans. It can be really confusing when you're trying to find student loans, trying to figure out the process and know what to apply for. I've been there and it was like such a confusing process for me. And luckily private student loans is a place you can go to to compare your different student loan options. Private student loans helps you understand, find, and compare private student loans and also help you find the best loans for your specific circumstances. So if you click the link down in the description below, you can figure out what student loans you qualify for and it's all just on one website. I think what was confusing for me was when I was trying to look for student loans and I was going on all these different websites. So this is all in one spot. So if you want to check out private student loans, the link will be down in the description below and let's get straight into the video. The first one I wanted to look at was this one up here called Lizard and Cat Meat. I just know it's going to be bad, so I wanted to look at that one specifically. That's just a really quick video. And then I wanted to look at the Ultimate Funny Lizard compilation of 2018 funny pet videos. I'm hoping most of it will just be funny and not stuff that I need to explain why it's bad. But yeah, first we're going to look at Lizard and Cat Meat. So... Let's just click it and find out. Okay, so that's an Asian water monitor. And in the background, it looks like there's a black and white tegu and an iguana. So that's interesting. And then there's a cat there. So I'm like confused <laughs> for a lot of reasons. I'm like, do people think this is funny. He says Asian water monitor, black and white tegu, and the green iguana. And angel. Yeah, so the cat's like running away. The cat is scared of this monitor. That's crazy. Oh my god. The person filming this is literally like laughing. So I mean, that's basically it. After that, the monitor just kind of turns around and walks away. So you might be wondering, Tyler, like what's wrong with this? Nothing happened in the video. Nothing bad happened. We were lucky that nothing bad happened in this video because Asian water monitors 
hunt and kill animals. Like, you can look up videos of them killing a chicken in, like, one bite and eating it whole. And that cat is, like, the size of a chicken. So the main issue with this is having a predator in the same room as a prey animal. We're not even going to talk about the fact that he had, like, the monitor, the tegu, and the iguana all together, because they could have technically fought, but... I think the main issue I had with this was the monitor and the tegu around a cat because these lizards are full grown. They're big, strong lizards. And he's really lucky that the water monitor didn't just like grab the cat and eat it, which sounds silly and ridiculous, but that monitor could easily kill that cat just by grabbing it really fast. And that's all it had to do. I mean, Luckily, nothing bad happened in the video, but it's just that it's stupid to film something like that and put it on the internet for a ton of people to see and to potentially think that's okay and be like, I want to get a monitor friend for my cat because, like, we're just lucky that nothing bad happened there. You could also just tell that the cat was uncomfortable. The cat was curious about the monitor, but the cat was probably scared because I think, you know, animals aren't stupid. The cat can see a predator pretty much like the cat doesn't just see like oh there's a lizard i wonder what's gonna happen like animals see each other as prey and predator so i think what a lot of people need to realize is just because we might see it and not think anything bad's gonna happen the animals don't really know what's going on so that's gonna put the cat in a lot of stress because the cat just sees that as a predator the cat doesn't know necessarily that nothing's going to happen. And in reality, none of us really know that nothing's going to happen because it's in the animal's instincts to prey on each other. So again, we're just lucky that the cat was okay and nothing bad happened. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you have prey and predator animals, don't put them together. Next, we're just going to be looking at the ultimate funny lizard compilation. And I hope that it's mostly just funny. Oh. Oh my god. Right off the bat again. Okay, that's a really cute satanic. But anyways, um, yeah. What is up with people putting their cats with their lizards? So this, in this situation, it was like the exact opposite issue. It wasn't the cat that was in danger, but it was the bearded dragon. Again, even if you're like, oh, I know my cat. My cat's not going to touch anything. It's still a risk. Cats are animals that in the wild hunt on other animals and eat them. So why would you put a smaller, vulnerable animal in front of your cat? Even if you don't think anything's going to go wrong, all it takes is for the cat to bite the lizard once and it's going to be really bad. And aside from that, again, the lizard doesn't know that the cat is harmless. The lizard isn't like, oh, look, a cat. I know you. You're not going to hurt me. We're friends. The lizard just sees the cat as a prey, so you're putting the lizard in a stressful situation because the lizard doesn't know what's going on. The lizard just sees, like, up above it, like, clawing at it. So, let the moral of this so far just be keep your cats away from your reptiles. They don't belong together. That is all. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is the wholesome content I'm here for, just... A lizard sitting there. Here we go. Some non-problematic reptile content. <laughs> this reminds me, I had a bearded dragon a long time ago. It had an app, it was like a game, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like bugs would go across the screen and my bearded dragon would like think they're real so he would try to like go get them. It was really cute. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh my god. Please tell me he's gonna jump. Oh yes, he got- he did a great job. This is the content that I'm here for, honestly. Look at him. He's doing great. Bearded dragons are just so cute. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
He's like, I'm still gonna eat it though. He's like, hello, it me. For a second, I thought they were like giving the bearded dragon a bath that was just way too deep, but it looks like just the water dish. Maybe the bearded dragon just likes to swim. I don't know, but it looks like it's just in the enclosure, so he could climb out if he wanted. So yeah, I was just gonna say, if you're bathing your bearded dragon, don't fill up the water that high. You want it to be like below the neck so that he's not gonna like drown or anything, but I guess this boy just likes to swim. I don't know. <laughs> We love a skating lizard. First of all, that bearded dragon's really fat. But oh my gosh. Me. <laughs> Me trying to reach my goals. Oh my god, literally me. Wow. Why? What is with people... What is with people putting their cats with their lizards? Like, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Like, what makes you think that's a good idea? I just have so many questions. I'm just so glad that like nothing bad ended up happening at least in the video that was shown. Yes, a thirsty queen. Oh my god. So like, again, just why are you putting your animals together? I feel like this isn't really like, I'm not worried the dog's going to hurt the lizard. I'm mostly worried that the lizard's gonna jump off the dog and get hurt, or that you're just stressing out your lizard by putting it on top of your dog. I feel like dogs are a little bit more predictable, like you're gonna know if your dog has a prey drive. But even if your dog doesn't have a prey drive and you like know for sure it's not gonna try to eat your lizard, why are you putting your lizard through that stress? It goes back to, again, I know I already said this, but your lizard doesn't know that your dog's not gonna hurt it. Your lizard just sees your dog as a predator. So by putting them together, putting your lizard on top of a predator, the best like comparison I can think of on the spot is human beings are naturally afraid of snakes, right? Like naturally most of us are afraid of snakes. Obviously not me or like a lot of the people who watch my channel, but just your average person is usually afraid of snakes or at least doesn't like them. So if I got one of my snakes, if I got my ball python who has never hurt a fly and I like threw it on top of someone, they're gonna be afraid and freaked out because they don't know that my snake's not gonna bite them. It's the same thing with you throwing your lizard on top of your dog. Your lizard doesn't know. That's a good comparison. Good job, Tyler. Wow. Love that for me. Anyways. I love chameleons so much. Oh my gosh. He's doing his best. What is that? Oh my god! Again! The cat is literally clawing at the bearded dragon's leg. I mean, I'm assuming it's declawed, obviously, but why? If the cat bit the bearded dragon, it would be screwed. I'm just like, what's the purpose of this other than filming a stupid video? Oh. He's trying so hard. Again, me trying to reach my goals. Oh my god. I, wait, I want to go back. Okay, so yeah, that was a bearded dragon. For a second, I was like, is that a wild lizard? Or, but no, that's a bearded, that's a bearded dragon, right? I'm sorry, I need to like, yeah, I'm like 90% sure that's a bearded dragon. Right? So, like, I'm assuming that's a pet bearded dragon. Which, again, like, the dog went after it for a second, so that just confirms. I'm not just crazy. 
bad things can happen. The, the next video hasn't even started yet, and it's a cat in a bathtub with an iguana. So we're on a really good roll right now with people filming really fun, relatable content with their animals. Am I right? Like, just what is the purpose? Oh my god. Why is that... First of all, what is that substrate? Second of all, why is the heat bulb, like, four inches from the bearded dragon's head? That looks like a really good bearded dragon enclosure. There's like one rock in it. Um, oh my god. You can't eat that meat. Okay. That's funny. That's just really stupid. What a dumb animal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bearded dragon and a leopard gecko together. Hi. So, let's talk about that for a second. Again, it goes back to a predator-prey animal situation. Leopard geckos, for anyone who doesn't know, they actually drop their tail in situations where they can be really stressed out, or, you know, if they feel like they need to escape, they will drop their tail to kind of deter the predator. I guess in that situation, you're just really lucky that the bearded dragon didn't like suddenly try to chase the gecko or the gecko didn't just get scared of the bearded dragon to begin with because it would end up dropping its tail. Don't know why you would put two different species like that in front of each other, but that's just stupid. Aside from that, let's watch it again. I want you to pay attention to what the bearded dragon is doing. It's like waving its arm. It looks like it's like waving and being like, hello, friends. Hi. Yeah, hi. But, um, <laughs> no. When bearded dragons do that, I know it's like really cute. I had, When I first got my bearded dragon, I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. But when they wave their hand like that, it's actually like submission. So bearded dragons head bop, like you'll, you, I think you saw in the other video earlier, the bearded dragon head bopping. That's it being dominant, being like, frick you, I'm like in charge. But when they do the wave, it means that they're submitting. They're saying, all right, like, you win. So that just kind of shows, I think, the bearded dragon was stressed out by the leopard gecko. So again, just, the, I think the moral of this entire video is just, like, don't put your animals together. Oh, that's cute. What's a good boy? He's a good boy. <laughs> is that, is that, like, the equivalent of like humans watching food TV, like a bearded dragon watching crickets on YouTube. Again, I don't even feel like I need to say anything. <laughs> so that was the turn of events. The bearded dragon went after the cat. We're just lucky the cat didn't retaliate because the cat would have won. So this is really cute, especially if you don't know what's going on, but the bearded dragon's just trying to rip the shed off of its tail. So nothing, bad going on here by any means, but it, it is cute. Is this supposed to be funny? It literally looks like they're harassing the heck out of the lizard. It's like, stop touching me. I am suffering. Get away. Like, stop. Leave, leave him alone. We're only nine minutes into this video, but I don't want to have this video be like four hours long because I've had to stop and explain bad things that were happening more than I anticipated. So I'd be happy to do more of these if you guys want. Like, I don't know. I can. I don't know if you guys find this interesting or entertaining, but if you guys want me to do more of these, let me know in the comments and I will happily do more of them. I think the moral of the story is... Don't put predator and prey animals together. Don't put really animals of different species. Most of the time they shouldn't be together. Most viral animal videos are really stupid or at least this compilation was pretty dumb. And it's a problem because they get viewed by a lot of people and a lot of people are gonna get the bright idea of 
recreating what they see in these videos. And it can be dangerous if you do any of these things, really, even if you know what you're doing. Like, don't do it. Don't put your cat with your bearded dragon. It's not a good idea. Uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it entertaining. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below if you have an opinion on anything you've seen or viral animal videos or anything terrible you've seen on the internet. And uh, subscribe. I post videos every week. Not always just reacting to terrible animal content. I make my very own terrible animal content. I don't do anything dangerous, but it's just terrible content. So subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.